Hello and welcome back to Grand Strategy Saturdays where the Templin Institute leads a nation to glory. Today we are back with Stellaris Invicta part 28, maybe 27, I can never remember. I am the man behind the curtain. I'm joined by the voice of the Institute, Larissa. How's it going? It's going and it is indeed 27 parts, yeah. although feel, we had uh, a 0. 0.5 yesterday. Yeah, I mean, that's what threw me, right? And I feel a little off already because I almost said... I'm Mark, the voice behind the curtain or something. Um, and that would have made no sense, so. Uh, yeah, I feel like we're already doing great. So yeah, this is Stellaris Invicta, if you're not familiar. You picked a weird time to join us, but whatever, I'm not going to judge. So, a lot going on, but before we get into that, there's some housekeeping we need to go over, which I've completely forgotten about, despite the fact we talked about it two minutes ago. So, Larissa, what's going on? Uh, we got four wars. That's not housekeeping, that's context i want oh yeah okay. but I, I, I we got four wars Wait, no, little... I, I can save this i can save this and if you'd like i can't save this uh yeah if you want to help oh. keep track of what's going on in this game including those four wars nice take it back uh larissa's gonna be posting a link to a document in the chat which uh we'd really appreciate if you could follow along write down what's happening with the year the event etc it helps making those recap uh, videos a lot easier um, apart from that, I don't think there's a lot going on. If you missed yesterday's stream, yes, there was a stream yesterday. Um, we just spent it renaming a bunch of planets and space stations, so you might notice that some names are different if you didn't catch that. But that was that was pretty much it. Yeah, yeah we just, like, named stuff. There was a little bit of infrastructure, but mostly just naming. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and before we jump into this, uh, lastly, next Friday, so, like, a little under a week, I guess, six days, you might say, um, we're going to be doing a special bonus stream, maybe, of Ace Combat 7. I'm really excited about this, so, you know, show up next Friday. It'll be in VR, maybe, and I'll be looking around a plane and getting nauseous and all this stuff. Yeah, it'll be... I'm excited. I've not really seen Ace Combat played before, and you've been hyping it for months now, so I'm... Uh, yeah. I am going to be explaining the hell out of Ace Combat 7 to you, and also just Ace Combat, because <laughs> I love that series so much, and I can just go on forever. I've been like kind of doing it in my head. Anyways, I feel like we're taking too long. Let's just jump into this, shall we? Sure. So. I have one more thing. Oh, it's always something with you. Okay, fine. It's always something. Yeah. We've got a fancy new poll system. Ooh. What? So all you have to do now is just type one or two. That's it. No it's need just for uh, exclamation mark vote or anything. Exactly, and you guys can keep track of how the vote's going, so you're like right there with us. It's Isn't awesome. it awesome? It's edging out, it's perfect. It's per oh, wait, now, now it's tied? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Anyways, it's insane. I love this system a lot. I don't think it's way better than the previous one where every single time we're like, type in exclamation mark vote, then your name, then your number, then your social security <laughs> number, then space, another space, and then four, and it's just, it was, it was too And then much. your mother's maiden name. Yeah. We should have asked for credit <laughs> cards, too. We could have just really cleaned up Oh, here. yeah. Eh, it's too late. Yeah. Speaking of too late, it's awesome. Looks like it's going to beat. It's perfect, which I don't appreciate. But uh, what can you do? All right, I so. Mean, what can you do? Here's what's happening in this game. I mean, I can't really keep track. But, okay, so there was a huge AI rebellion by something called the Next Network. It took over a bunch of systems in the GTU. We've been slowly taking them back, but so has the Rixian Galactic Directorate, our vassal, and in doing so, they've taken over a bunch of our planets, like Halifax, Sahara, Amazon, <laughs> Yamato. Like, it's super annoying. So, in response and to Warsaw. that... Yeah, and Warsaw. So, we've we've started to integrate them, but it's going to take another 604 months. So, as soon as all four of these wars are over, I guess, we're going to try to trade for these systems back or something? I, I don't know. We might just have to declare war on them. That might be faster. So, the AI, the next network, has been mostly confined to this area of space. Only, there was a second AI rebellion by something called the Dar Confluence. So now there's, like, a bunch of huge fleets out there. We think the next network is mostly broken, though, right? Because last stream, or two streams ago, I guess, we, we had that huge battle. The battle to end all battles, maybe? Yes, it was a huge battle. 
and I think they've taken a pretty substantial hit to their energy credits, which is like their food. Yeah. So I think they might actually be on the way out. And then mysteriously also, our allies in the Commonwealth of Caprici have been somehow taking territory from the Vol Hive, despite the fact we're not at war with them. I, I don't understand how that's been happening. But if that's not enough, a fallen empire called the Mesh Bend Protectors, who we kind of bullied relentlessly <laughs> a few streams ago. No, we... We took we took a gun on it that they had decided was theirs. Yeah. And then we we slapped them back because we're awesome. And so I, I guess they're really sulky about it still. Didn't we also like insult them a bunch to get them to declare war on us? That's what I remember. Mm, I don't think we act, I think the intention wasn't to make them declare war on us. It uh, was just an accident that okay. it happened to be that way. Well they declared on us war, war on us once, they've declared war on us again. Uh, so that's scary. But then on top of that, an alien federation called the Bright League has declared war on us too. So that's the Commonwealth of Xana, the Southvale Confederacy, and might just be the two of them. And they've already taken over most oh, of the Commonwealth there's, of... there's Kansas. another one in there. Is there? The, de the Democratic Oplek Mandate. Oh, okay. So I guess the that? Oplek Republic has splintered. Yeah, where the hell is the Oplek? Oh, right, they're... I, yeah, I think the Oplek kind of got screwed over by the Tyrum, and now they just have like a bunch of weird stuff. Yeah, they don't, they don't have much. But what's worrisome is that this federation is friends with that giant federation, so... I don't know. Uh, so yeah, we gotta just keep fighting, I guess, is the only way through this, right? I guess so. And, uh, by the way, thanks to Sarah Wim and Captain Unnecessary for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, all our subscribers now, not only do you get the special Templin emote, but you get the cool Templin badge next to your name in chat, which I think is well worth $5 a month on its own. <laughs> yeah, just the, the value. It's insane. And Torrid, Torridin341 subscribed for the third month in a row. Thanks. Yeah. I know we do kind of joke about it, but the subscriptions and the bits, they really do help, uh, you know, keep the lights on and keep us streaming and all that. So it is very much appreciated, so thank you. We do really appreciate it. Larissa doesn't. She hates you guys, but I'm on your side. <laughs> After every stream, she's like, yeah, more subscribers today. They make me sick. And I say, Larissa, right. why? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so. Uh-huh. Yep, you have it right. You admit it. Okay, that's your final mistake. Speaking of mistakes, we got to take back... Ah, oh, fuck this planet name. Odranka's Holding. Okay. Because those robots have taken away the planet that we took? Yeah. I, I mean, I can't tell which planets are, are ours, which ones are the, the Vols anymore, but... Well, the Vols... They always name their planets like somebody something. Do they? Yeah, it's always a name in a possessive form with some kind of proper name. You know what's weird about that? The Vol are a hive mind, so they should have no concept of individual, like, units or whatever, so why would they call all their planets that? Yeah. Yeah, so, my immersion, I guess, I don't know, it's being ruined. Yeah, it's just, it's not good. Speaking of stuff, I gotta also, like, rebuild some infrastructure here because we lost a ton that we still haven't fully recovered from. Yep, we ran out of time to do that yesterday. Oh my god, there's a battle happening. I should pause for a second. Oh my god. Also, the game is really starting to slow down. It's getting kind of worrisome. Who is that just because of how many units the mechs have? Yeah. Well, it's also just like the later the game goes, the, the more it tends to kind of stutter. Um, uh, just because there's just so much. Yeah, there's too much going on, you might say. I mean, I wouldn't say that because I think it's cool when there's like tons of shit, but... No, no. End of Man says the Vol just do it to troll the non-hive minds. <laughs> I got a lot of flack. I guess they have a sense of humor. Uh, yeah, people were uh, disagreeing with me yesterday when I said that certain names didn't fit within the GTU. Like, I can't remember any of the exact names that were suggested, but mm -hmm. just consider this. If you lived in America and, like, someone decided to name, like, a city, like, I don't know, Liberty's Rest or something. Wouldn't that kind of strike you as like a little, little cheesy? There's got to be a Liberty's Rest in America somewhere. No, there's not. Or if it is, it's probably some lame place that, I don't know. Maybe I'm insulting the great city of Liberty's Rest, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> but maybe it should. It, it works in fantasy, because I feel like... I mean, I don't know why I think it works in fantasy. I think it just does. Like, King's Landing doesn't strike me as particularly odd. Because, like, you have that kind of grandiose sense established with the royalty and the nobility and all that, so I can see it. But nowadays, I just, I don't get it. Hmm. EMH2212 says, It'd be very on the nose. Plus, surely, lever surely liberty should never rest. Well, Which, you know, that's very true. Example. You don't want liberty to rest. Okay, maybe it's called Liberty's Pride or something. Okay. Or like Eagle's Dream. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't like any of these. Although that does sound super American. That I won't disagree with you. Also, can you tell that I'm kind of tired? I was uh, wondering why my fleets weren't moving, and it turns out the game was paused. Oh. You are very tired. You had a fascinating dream last night that you were telling me about. That, that was, was keeping privileged you up? information. <laughs> I, can't, I told you that dream in secret. Aw, oh, I'm sorry. Fuck but it, it was just too good. It wasn't even that interesting. Okay, here's what happened. <laughs> Wait, there's a battle. I'm saved. Fuck you. Oh. Yeah, sorry. I'd love to tell you about my dream, but there's a fleet of 76k going to get... Oh, it's already over. Oh. <laughs> So just tell us about your dream. God damn you. God damn you. I'm not going to ask you about your dream because yours was even worse. But okay. Uh, Mine was awesome. I, I woke up and I, I couldn't get back to sleep. So I listened to this podcast by Conan O'Brien that I'm a fan of. Um, and that influenced my dream, I guess, because I had this dream. And I got it. I got invited to Conan O'Brien's house for this Sweet party he was throwing. Underway. Only his party sucked and he asked me for help on how to fix it. But he didn't take any of my suggestions. Because Conan O'Brien's a bit of a dork. Well, I like Conan O'Brien. So, I'm tired of your anti-Conan agenda. What are you, NBC? Yeah. That's a good reference. <laughs> what? You don't know about that? No, 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 no. I get the reference. Okay. I'm just saying, like, how is... How can... How does that make it a sense as an insult to me? Uh... I... Are you sure you get the context of that joke? Because I think it was pretty clear. Hmm. I do. I'm just, I'm not a fan. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to justify my dated late night television host references to you. <laughs> also, we're losing energy and minerals again. What the hell is up with that? Ah. Ooh. Oh, wait, because something expired. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Hmm. Um, somebody mentioned maybe we should take a look at the edict. Defense? The defense edict? Ooh, yeah, what's it called? um, I, I was gonna do that, but we didn't have enough unity last time, and the other thing was, it's only fighting on your territory, but now that we're invading theirs, I mean, even though it technically used to be ours, it's still within their borders, so I don't think that applies to us. Plus, everyone's using total war against us, so as soon as they take a planet, right. you know, we lose it, and we rarely have fleet stationed where they're attacking us on our own soil, except for sticks, so I just don't think it's worth it. Hmm, yeah. Also, we have a bunch of construction ships that aren't really doing a whole lot, right? We could probably, like, set up a whole bunch of... Uh, well, not as many as you might think. I think we dismantled most of them. Um, we got... Oh, no, okay, I'm wrong. We got a few. Some of them are on the way to do stuff. Yeah, we Other can probably... are just kind of hanging around. Hanging around doing nothing. We can probably get them building some more resource stations and yeah. kind of recoup some... I cannot build a mining station here. Why not? Uh, nothing going on over here, so that's good. Oh, the Aleppo Ooh, system. And... That needs some work. Oh, yeah, that's that's seen better days. I'm a big fan of the naming behind the Aleppo system. Yeah, because it's part of the Silk Road. Uh, no, it's my favorite shawarma shop. I was I was gonna you know stay in lore, but fine, we can go with no, the real world. No, in lore, world. it's named after that same trauma shop too. <laughs> Kira Arashi R says the ships shall blot out the watched AI overlords with some moral support and some taxes. And thank you for the schlim schlams, Akira. Those will go for the towards the war effort. Yes, they will. Loose. Schlips. 
and build ships. Right? Right? Station reports and what? Contact. Blue schlips build ships? Blue schlips? Build ships. Sorry, it's hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> Loose schlips build ships. That's the motto. Because our currency is called oh. the schlip schlap, so it kind of makes sense. Um, sure. Sure. Oh, God, wait. Is something bad happening? Oh, something bad. Uh, uh, I think we're going to be fine. The Southvale Confederacy fine? is invading sticks, but we're totally about to screw them, so. Yeah, because we, like, totally rule in sticks. I'm going to do cinematic mode. Ooh. Go full screen? Oh, you already did it. Yeah, thanks, Lerner. That's, uh, fuck, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you again? <laughs> I love how the commentary Why? for this battle is me going, <laughs> I don't like it. Kind of lowers the stakes, you know? Yeah, it's undercutting it a bit, right? Yeah. All right, Suffel got owned, as the kids say. Uh, owned... Sometimes you get pro-owned. That's even worse. Ugh. Although, they might still be in sticks a little bit, but it might just be a transport fleet. Might still be sticky? Is that, is that a joke? <laughs> Someone told me that's it's a joke. <laughs> also, the army's think... finally arrived. Or, almost arrived. Part of the army's almost arrived. Excellent. Taking their sweet time. Although part of the reason we have so many fleets, and well, by so many I mean two, is that we're trying to invade the next from within. So should we maybe split up a bit? Only keep one fleet there instead of two? Alert con one in effect. Instead? Ah! This is not a drill. The vol? What? Five wars God and damn it. years ago. God damn it. We just... Oh. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, I guess that means they're gonna die so they can only get us through the yu sun sun yu yu sun who is this again he was the guy who united china I yu sun sin is the yeah the admiral uh or was it korea i, I think it was oh I, I i don't know we we named a lot of stuff yesterday so we're not <laughs> ignorant this was only yesterday on. how have we forgotten okay so they can get us through there and they can get us they'd have to invade the next so they can mostly only get us through this system so we'll we'll fortify the Yu Sun Sun Yu Sun Sin system, um, and that should be enough. Sun Shen. Yeah, sorry to uh, whoever actually knows how to pronounce. Oh, that. also the head is gone. Oh yeah, sorry, my bad. EMH says, I don't imagine the pro Xeno factions within the GTU are having the best time of it right now. All of those xenophobic people are just going, "Say we told you so." Yeah, it is going to be hard to justify how the GTU remains not xenophobic after this one, you know? I think it'll be very easy to go back to being xenophobic. Like, you know? I do know. So I gotta upgrade a bunch of stuff while I'm while I'm here. It just yeah. seems like the proper thing. I, I think you're right, because, you know, there's unemployment and there's, you know... There's War, inefficiencies everywhere because a whole bunch of people died. Yeah. Who knows how they died? I don't think it was my fault. No, it was the robot's fault. Exactly. Always blame robots. That one robot who nearly took out a GDU. Man, there's a lot of unemployment. Jesus. Okay, I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to go through all this right now. I should have done this yesterday, but we didn't have any time, so not my fault. No, no, definitely. Okay, there wasn't as much as I thought, but still. There was a pop that you could have moved on to a... A building square. Really? Yeah. Uh, on Germania? Uh, right. no. It was Germania. Yeah. All right. Aha. The, the economy's been saved. We moved that one guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we relocated that one guy. He got a citizenship tier upgrade. He's loving it. It's Every good. time the, uh, the game kind of pauses, I worry someone else is going to declare war on us. <laughs> I've just been hurt too many times, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, could you imagine if, you know, the next time it pauses, it's actually the in-game crisis? I... Do we know for sure that's going to happen? No, we don't know for sure. That's the scary part. Yeah. I guess it's a good reason to keep watching, eh, kids? 
Who knows what's yep. gonna happen? I don't. So stay tuned. All right, we're taking back Adranka's holding. All right, we'll take it back. You know Adranka, he's always holding. Yeah. But you know what? He's not gonna hold for much longer. Okay, so the armies are almost arrived. Land Force Command needs to really hurry the hell up. Although it's my fault for not getting them over here quicker. So. Forces are dropping on target. Well, we live and we learn. Yeah. Uh oh, game's paused. What's gonna happen? Nothing's gonna happen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I okay. Think this is gonna be the reality yeah, guess... of just getting this far into the game. Just gonna be really chuggy and slow. Although I do want some credit that the game is even playable at this uh, stage. A lot of people <laughs> complain that after 2500 it's just uh, too crazy to keep going. But not Ooh. for the Autonomicon Mark II, which is the name of my computer, which everyone loves. Spaceport reports enemy contact. I still should come up with a name for my computer, because Autonomicon Mark II, I gotta admit, sounds awesome. Oh yeah, and like, I got the Mark I, the Mark II, I got the Quadricon Mark II, my Wi-Fi is called the Autonomiconion. Uh, <laughs> that one I'm a little less, you know, impressed by because it's just too many syllables. Construction too many syllables. Uh, no, I'm really not. But whatever. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, stuff's still building. I'm doing stuff. Sorry, I just realized my microphone's a little weird. I'm gonna try to fix this. Okay. Did that fix do anything? It. Am I good? Uh, uh, keep talking, we'll find out. Do I sound as beautiful as the morning breeze, Larissa? Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Not really what I was hoping for, but whatever. Okay, uh... Well, nothing will ever sound as beautiful as I'm Mark, King of the Fairy. Oh, what's that reference yeah. from, Larissa? Uh, that was from yesterday's stream. I want to bet that we didn't finish building, and you had to say, I'm Mark, King of the Fairies. Yep. Well, you changed the rules, like, well, you established the rules before I could establish my part of the rules, and then I instantly lost, and it was a whole thing. Yep. I didn't It like was it. a whole thing. Okay, but, so. But I really did, so. I'm gonna try to gamble and up, up the speed a bit here. Will the game still be playable? Do we, oh, our allies are fighting somebody. Oh, our Probably allies are about bowl. to get screwed. Oh no. Uh, I guess this was unsanctioned. They didn't ask for our support, and they just went and did it anyway. I don't feel super bad because they've been like taking all these weird territories over here anyway. So I yeah, still don't know how they're doing it. There must have been a, a gateway, or they must have gone through sticks or something. I was just about to ask. Do you think there's a gateway in their space that we could maybe invade through? But I don't see it, so I oh, guess not. I hope so. No such no. luck, amigo. Dang. I guess we took all of their L gates. <laughs> that was part of the war plan, right? Because I was tired of them being yeah. able to invade us like that. Well, the tired of ha them having the possibility to invade us, and then it yes. was the Florians who did it. God, the Florians are such jerks. Yeah. Ugh. Those pacifist plant people. The triple P. Yep. I've mentioned several times, I'm sure, that I call Bed Bath & Beyond the Triple B. I think you you must have mentioned that. You probably just forgot, because you're a bad friend. But the point is, <laughs> I like calling it that a lot. Gonna hit up Triple B today. Gonna be sweet. Get some linens. You know how it is. Ooh, fancy. Alright, moving on Val. The Val system. Johan Wiss Weiss says, Mark, you can redeploy your army transport ships by doing jumps to the system you want them to land on, and after the battle, their timer actually gets restarted. Oh, yeah, it would be the... Tra okay, because we did have the... Um, that is an excellent point, because I keep forgetting about the, um, the initiate jump thing, because it keeps, like, not working. Um, remember we had that, that issue before? Like, am I already yeah, doing this I don't know. I I seem to remember really struggling in Stellaris with figuring out which mouse button does what. Well, for a while, um, 
uh, what do you call it? Uh, the jump drive wasn't working because even though we upgraded all our ships, there was like a, a glitch with the um, the class designs or something. Complete. Remember that? Yeah, which we ended up fixing like three or four streams ago. Yeah, and all the transports um, have been upgraded since then because we've built them since then, so we shouldn't have that same issue. So that was a great point. Thanks for bringing that up. I should have realized that. I apologize. But we're for learning now. <laughs> I mean, really, it's only inconveniencing you. And people watching who are, like, throwing coffee at their screens, being, Mark, stop being <laughs> stupid. But that's a war you're never going to win, baby. <laughs> so may as well just sit tight and wait for your own war exhaustion to reach 100%. Exactly. <laughs> I like that. That's a good. That was a good reference. I thought so. I felt very clever. That's why we can only stream for a certain amount of time, because after that, the twist. Twitch can't war exhaustion gets too high. <laughs> so I guess Twitch streaming is like our war with the beneficial Concord. Yeah. Where it just like keeps going and it keeps lasting forever. Not the best way to and thanks to Valen as me for subscribing for the sixth month in a row. Yeah. In one more month, we'll have been streaming for a year. That's crazy. It is crazy. What's crazier still is that people are still around. Yeah, you're still here. It's a, sh it's amazing. What's wrong with you people? Don't you have lives? <laughs> I, I guess not. I mean, or thank you for making us a part of your life. Eh? eh? How uh, about that for sentimentality? I hate sentimentality. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also, I want to know how the hell do um the jump work, the jump drives work because like I, do i right click do i left click it seems to be not can, oh wait is it doing it no no orders still is there a limit on how far it can go oh within the circle maybe does that make sense i don't know right, i've never happen? jumped my ships before i'll just use the gateways because we got plenty of those we do have a lot of that are, are we able to build any more just for giggles um yes but we're our mineral and energy reserves ain't great oh also i don't think we actually can because we're building the ring world still in that system i uh, can't pronounce right also yes the circle is the limit okay that makes sense oh our the first section of the ring world's done by the way nice can we put people on it uh yeah yeah we can Awesome. Earth, because Earth deserves this more than anybody. Oh, absolutely. We're gonna Earth to, is uh, the birthplace. Yeah. I'm gonna have to drain another sector because I want to keep the the um, what do you call it, thing going. The thing that's descriptive. Yes, the uh, the building the building process. Yeah. Oh wait. Well, can I build... they they make their own oh. stuff. Never mind. You can only build one spring section at a time. But whatever. The point is, I'm doing great, and no mistakes Yay. are made at all. Excellent. Okay. So, I don't know. But Lord Tynan says, I remember your first stream. You two were so jumpy and new to this. You were the reason I started a Twitch account. <laughs> I can do better than these uh, assholes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start my own Twitch account. Yeah. Have you um, listened to our Patreon stream uh, recently? Not in a few months. Not in a um, Every now and then I, I go back and I just listen to when the Patreon launched because like it's it's cool to have like an important moment of your life uh, available for repeat viewing like that. But what's really funny is that um, oh wait I might be thinking of actually the first Civilization Six stream. I might have gotten these confused. The point is in one of them um, that there was that error where nobody could hear your voice; they could only hear me, and it lasts for like three <laughs> minutes. And it's, it's so awful because you just hear me going like, "Ha ha, that's right, Larry," and you know. <laughs> Nothing in return. All right. Also, I kind of forgot about the whole invading thing, so I'm gonna get back on that. Oh right, we're in the middle of war. God damn it! Yeah, this isn't the temple reminiscing stream. This is a battle for the soul of mankind. I always like that phrase. Nay, for mankind's very survival. All right, invading planets, taking names, you know the drill. But we're all out of names. I liked my intro from yesterday so much. 
thought it was good. Yeah, <laughs> but we're all out of ass. Yeah, and if you want to know the context for that, watch our stream from yesterday. It's on the Archives channel. Well, not yet. It hasn't gone up yet. Don't watch it on the Archives channel. Watch it on Twitch because they're probably still available. But then after that, you can watch it on the Archives channel if you want. If you want. I mean, we're not your boss. Yeah. All right, slowly taking back planets. Jesus Christ. But we're making progress, right? Yeah. Progress. Moving forward. I like it. Saber Sonic says, I nominate that we call the all five, so far, wars to be collectively called the Great Galactic War. Ooh. Well, it's not it's across simple the entire galaxy, though. It's simple and direct. Mm, it's only, like, our half of the galaxy. We own, basically, half the galaxy, which is great. That is true. I don't understand how wars get their names, you know? It's kind of weird. Like, with World War One, World War Two, that makes sense. Everything else? Yeah, it's very, very logical. And everything else always has, like, you know, a bunch of different names. Like, the Vietnam War is called, like, the Great Fatherland Liberation War by the Vietnamese or something. I don't know. It's, it's weird stuff like that. Hmm. I think there's probably a more, like, epic name with a lot more gravitas that we could, uh, that we could name the this AI, war over. The uh, AI rebellion should just be Sword called the Whoopsie, the Great Whoopsie Days. <laughs> Whoops, did I do that? <laughs> Wait, do you know what that's from? I do. Okay. What's it from? Wait, where was that unrest? Um. Oh, that's strange. In the Dugaba system? I, maybe that makes sense because they were recently liberated, but I'll send in the police. Yeah. All sword Oops. Elements are dropping and for those of you who are still confused why the game looks the way that it Oh, you know why it's so... Uh... Yeah, it's because everyone there is being deported or destroyed. Construction yeah, complete. it's fine. Oh, it, it'll be fine. Oh, shit, there's a big battle? Okay, what, where the hell is this? Oh, shit, wait, is this good or bad? I don't know what this, what's happening here. I guess our allies are under attack, so that doesn't affect us too much. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm fine, never mind. No yeah, reason to we'll, be scared. Yeah, forget it. Yeah, because isn't the Commonwealth of Caprice actually the Florians? Uh, no, they're the, um... Or no, you were right. They are the Florians. I'm sorry. Yeah, because we we took Sword that territory as retribution. Yeah. Which I guess all of the Commonwealth of Caprice has been actually taken over by the uh, Bright Fleet. Yeah. Um. With the exception of those few holdouts, they have. Oh, there's one system. They still have their homeworld, so that's good. But it's oh, under bombardment, good. I assume, by a giant mm. fleet here. Oh my lord. 15 battleships, 10 cruisers. Uh, sucks to be that. We're gonna have to invade the Commonwealth of Xana again. Or maybe the Florian Matriarchy won't be happy with them. Nope, they love each other. Fuck, okay. <laughs> I feel like we have united the entire galaxy against us. Which, you know, I guess it's a good thing. We are bringing peace to the galaxy, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bold strategy, Cotton. I'll grant them that. Yeah. And uh, Saurus Blood is saying, technically, they were Oplek who were just subjugated by the Florians. So I guess uh, the Florians expanded and there was some, like, changing of hands. And now they all love each other, thanks to us. Yep. See, we are the great unifier. Oh, Grey is doing something. God damn it, the Union of Demiriam stole this planet before we... Ah, those assholes. Well, I mean, Union of Near Miriam's, I... I mean, but I still want to get our stuff back, and... I don't have to integrate all our vassals just to do it. You know? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. On the plus side, the uh, 45th Fleet, which needs a new name. Let's see, uh, what do we got? We got... Too many things. That is a long list, man. Second Expeditionary... What happened to, like, the third expeditionary? Are we missing some expeditionaries? Oh, there is third expeditionary. Okay, this will be uh, the fifth expeditionary. I hope I spelled that right. I am very tired. Okay, you got the uh, it looked, looked right enough to me. 
anything else that needs a name, not that I can see. Okay, mm -hmm. so we, we couldn't start invading the vole if we wanted to, but we don't have enough ground forces over there, so it might take a bit. Unless I can figure out this yeah. jump thing. I mean, figuring out this jump thing would be a good idea, but yeah, so it has to be within that circle. Yeah, so it is doing like a bunch of And you left jumps. click on the system you want to jump to. Okay, I mean, I can figure things out. I'm slightly smart sometimes. Mm -hmm. Ah, see, it'll be fine. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> okay. All well, we'll figure that out elements are dropping Who are we invading now? Oh, Lady Grey is invading... Siraban. And doing a great job from the looks of it. Tracking enemy fleet. Excellent. See, you only need one woman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Female power. Yes. Although technically she's a robot, so I don't know if that counts. But she's taken the form of a woman, so... Ooh. I'm claiming her for my gender. Okay, fine. I'm not going to fight you too hard on this. <laughs> Alright. We do have some guys huh. out here. Maybe I can just jump one fleet. That's worth a try. Sword One Actual reports all ground oh, objectives man, secured. Kind of nuts. Ah, come on. Feels like I'm, like, you know, Ooh, got a giant fish glitchy. on the line. <laughs> come on. Come on. It's like I'm Quinn at the end of Jaws. Quint, sorry. How dare you get that wrong? Have you seen Jaws? Tracking enemy I have seen Jaws. Okay, good, because, God, your track <laughs> record is so bad. It's very spotty. Should we? Can we install? Can we insult the next? I don't yes. Insult them. Yes, we can. Oh, we gained a colony. Was that the ring world? Uh, I'll check. Oh, uh, no, we invaded some. Wait. Oh, wait, no, it was because one of our vassals took a system that was in our space, so we got it back without having to do anything. Oh, good. Yay. Okay, we insulted them, and they said, and how much of your limited processing power did you exhaust attempting to think of something smart to say only to fail miserably? Shit, these guys are oh. really good. <laughs> Those are good. Ooh. Damn, we got I demand another insult. But Larissa, after Man, last time. Oh god, okay, no. fine. Oh, we can't. We gotta insult them again. Ground forces in a are month. dropping on target. <laughs> uh fine. EMH says oh snap dot exe. Awesome. <laughs> that was a great joke. I like it. Okay, we're, we're pushing into this kind of last bastion of their power over here, so that's good. Yeah. And then we can take on the Dar Confluence and snuff them out real quick. Yeah, fuck the Dar. Yeah. Dar, I'm a robot. <laughs> Dar. Oh, and interestingly enough, part of the Commonwealth of Xana is over here, so as soon as we move into this territory, we can take them oh. back too. Nice. So you see, the war was a good thing. Yay. Means that we can, uh... We'll just click at them. Okay. <laughs> yeah. My god, the number of wars in that bottom right corner is really something. It doesn't exactly inspire confidence, does it? No, it really doesn't. Okay, after the war, we gotta go through all these planets, because we're taking them back, but they're all damaged, so... Oh, Oops. oh, and now someone's yeah. mad. Livonia's mad? Why is Livonia mad? Why? Oh, it's because they're full of aliens. Yeah, that would do it. Oh. Is there no humans in there? No. We should, um... This is unacceptable. Yeah. Yeah, let's get a, let's get a human in there. I don't, I don't like this. Someone from Earth. Someone we can trust. Yes. Some trustworthy individuals with a lot of merit. Exactly. Okay, so Livonia is a bit better Construction now. Complete. Now that we got a human in charge. Yeah, can't trust those Xenos. Except for the Wasari. Except the They're Wasari. All... Yeah, okay, good, good. <laughs> Construction complete. We got sectors missing resources. That ain't great. Yeah, not great at all. End of Man says war. War never changes. Wait, we're engaged in five wars? Never mind, war has changed. <laughs> There's just more of it, and it is scary. Yeah. 
It's super scary. And WJ says, I demand a Wasari general. They have earned the right. Uh, take it up with the game. None have spawned yet, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, I'm I'm sure if one spawns, we're gonna I'm on board with having a Wasari general. Yeah, right now it's just a bunch of humans. Uh wait, have do have we Checking. Checking. Okay. I'm glad that I didn't even have to actually ask that question. Uh no, at this point. We know each other well enough that we can finish each other's sandwiches, so it's all good. Exactly. Uh, military service. No, full military service, so... Okay. Yeah. I guess none have just worked their way up the ranks yet. Remember, they do come from a pacifist culture. That's true. It's probably, like, a big deal for them, you know? Yeah. They need more black sheep or black boars, I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah. More black boars. Okay, but I mean, like, I don't know. It's not a disaster, right? It's not a disaster. It's just really inconvenient. We can put them on the poster. <laughs> Dolores and Victa. Not a disaster. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Occult Autumn says, isn't the reason why we don't have any Wasari leaders is to prevent any Wasari from becoming high martial? Yes. I mean, we, we kind of got rid of that. Um, I, I think if a Wasari were up for high martial, we might just use our influence to counter that, but there shouldn't be any actual technical issues preventing that from happening. Yeah. Because I think we've had a Wasari Admiral at some point, right? Wasn't that a thing? I think we just made it up. I don't know if it was actually in-game. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've had the chance. We, we could get a Wasari Admiral right now, but we're kind of out of oh. space, so. Uh, okay, next opportunity we get. Okay, we'll have to Black give Black Wolf cool Willie says, isn't that what political assassinations are for? That could be his nickname, the Black Boar. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. God, look at this border gore. This is awful. I can't tell what the hell is happening. Yeah, it's it's. It really makes me cringe because because we got the same color border. Yeah. So it's just a whole bunch of red circles everywhere. <laughs> oh, we're losing a lot of energy credits again. How did that happen? What did you do, well, Ray? Well, we are over our planet limit. Oh yeah. Oh, it's probably because of all the the sectors that I keep forgetting to fortify. Um. Yeah. Okay, as soon as we capture this planet, I'm going to create a new sector over here, I think. Which means more uh, renaming. Yeah, because the only sector we have that borders it is super huge at the moment, so I want to oh, spread it out too yeah. much. Oh, yeah. Although it should take the Navi sector, or the Navi system. Uh, where's that? Construction complete. Skywatch is tracking a new enemy fleet. You're, you're, just... What? Use your words, Larry. Help me out. It's it's the Navi system. What? You can't miss. <laughs> I don't see it. Where? Go oh, a little oh, bit left oh. and a little bit out. There you go. Okay. You could have just said at the bottom. It's <laughs> called Navi. Help me out a bit. I said Navi. I thought you were talking about the hit 2009 film Avatar. No. Why would I be talking about Why would I ever talk about that? Why would anyone? That, that movie is so weird. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, I watched a bit of it um, just a couple days ago. Yeah? What for? I really like the scene where they blow up the tree. <laughs> what? I really identify with that jackass in command where he's just like drinking coffee <laughs> while they're shooting arrows at the at the helicopters and stuff. Time to scatter the roaches. <laughs> he's such an asshole. <laughs> and you identify with him. I do. Well, I just, I hate the Navi so much. They're like the worst. Ooh, what does that say about you? No, it's what does the movie say about itself? Because, like, okay, I th I've probably talked about this before, but, it, like, the best comparison I can make between Avatar is District 9. You've seen Dis District 9? I've seen District 9, yeah. Okay, so the prawns are these horrifyingly ugly assholes who, like, are huge dicks in that movie, and they're just pieces of shit all around. But by the end of it, I, like, feel for them, and I, I you know, feel bad about what they're going through. 
Whereas, like, the Navi have been perfectly constructed to be as, like, adorable as possible with their big eyes and ears and tails and all this shit. Their society is perfect. They live in harmony with everything, blah, 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 blah. And I just, I hate them. They're like the Mary Sues of culture. <laughs> Construction complete. Um, so chat is screaming that we're almost out of energy credits. Are we? I don't know what I did, but it magically fixed itself in the last couple seconds. <laughs> <laughs> See, the economy has ups and downs. Yeah, it's just the stock market. Stuff's weird. Stuff is weird. That's all I know about the economy. So you just gotta ride through the lows and then sell high. Yeah. Although apparently you're just supposed to... I was reading about this earlier. I don't know. You're just supposed to stay in the economy forever and eventually you'll make money. In the stock market, I guess. Yeah. Like, if you hold out for the long term, it works. But if you want to do short term gains, you sell, you sell high. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about anything. And I'm not going to contradict that. I Because you, you, know, you know what you know more than I know what you know. Okay, I think I know that. Do I know that? <laughs> Larissa, do I know that? I don't know. Do you know that? I don't know. So then I guess not? This is some good banter. <laughs> I just feel like you're making fun of me and I'm very tired. Oh, you are very tired. Whoops, what am I doing? All right, so I gotta spread out these construction ships because they're all just kind of crowded around. But as long as they're building stuff, it's good. It is, okay, yes. Construction complete. I think your construction ships can jump too. I just did that. Nice. Thank you, I am. And there's a minor battle happening at this place, but I think we knew about that. Yes, we just invaded them. Okay, I know what's going and on. It, and we it's fine. Claimed a new world. And we took the L gate. Yay! Or we're taking it. Good work, everybody. Yep, everyone, get yourself a donut. You deserve it. Oh, man, I haven't had a donut in so long. You know what really saddens me? Tim Hortons going from... Tim Hortons yep, yep. going from really great to really bad. Can I get points for perfectly predicting that, please? Yes, you can. Because, let's be real, Tim Hortons donuts, before Burger King bought them, were the shit. Yeah? Yeah. And then they got bought out by Burger King, and then they started sucking. Can I confess something to you? What? I haven't noticed that big of a, of a difference. It's it's not a big difference. It's a subtle difference, but it's Ooh. a subtle one that changes everything. Like a woman's heart. Yeah, sure. <laughs> What's that quote <laughs> on Titanic? Uh, there's many quotes from Titanic. You're going to have to be more specific. I don't know. It's like, the ocean is deep and vast and unknowable. Like the soul of a woman or something stupid like that. It's something overly poetic. My soul is also deep and unknowable, but you wouldn't know that, would you? Ground forces are dropping on target. <laughs> well, that's because it's unknowable. Yeah, whatever. Uh, okay, and we've taken back that Gaia world we took from those assholes. So, like, this is going well, I, all things considered. Could it be going better? Sure. Yeah, I think so. It could always be going better, but we're never going to, you know, perfectly win every time. Yeah. You know what Titanic when the um the uh the ship sinking <laughs> kind of the, the main main thing complete. but then the um the orchestra yeah. goes down playing that song Yeah, I don't know if I believe it, but Well, that's it's what a everyone good says, so I believe it. Why wouldn't you believe that? That's such a cool thing to believe in. I it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's kind of where I'm going with this because I would love to think <laughs> that if I were in that situation, if I somehow learned how to play a instrument and was on the Titanic, that I would go down playing my instrument that would be such a cool way to die but um i feel like i'd make complete. it maybe like you know a couple complete. notes in and then i would uh just like start panicking and run away kind of ruin the, the whole thing for everybody yeah exactly like that's the way more realistic complete. scenario here is the band like freaks out and panic but like 
Ah, I want to believe it. I think it's true. I'm almost certain it is. Because, like, isn't there so many, can, like, accounts that, from different sources that that's what happened? I don't know. Like, they could have just kept playing because they didn't realize that the ship was sinking. And once they oh, realized the ship was sinking, How panicking. dare you? No. T stop taking this moment of humanity away from me. <laughs> also, we're invading the SOA system, which is the new capital of... Oh, no, it's the capital of the Next Network. Fuck those guys. Yeah. They need to go. But I've heard that someone, I can't remember which country is doing this, but someone's actually recreating the Titanic. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Maiden voyage to New York at some point. And I don't know, man. Did you ever see Raise Just... the Titanic? No. It's this movie where they try to raise the Titanic. Anyway, sorry, I interrupted. What were you saying? Uh, well, I, I would basically reach the end of my story anyway. Oh, okay. And we got screaming about the economy again in what chat. is happening with the economy okay you, you look away for one second and we got another planet is what uh okay yeah sector time sector time maybe that'll fix everything but probably not probably not everything but it'll fix something that's really all you can ask for yeah that's called life or something okay did that do anything <laughs> Not really, because I'm still over the limit by a ton in star bases, I guess. That sucks. Yeah. Can we can we downgrade any? We might need to, but in the meantime, I'm going to drain. Oh, boy. Uh, we only got a few more sectors we can... Oh, we got a couple. Okay, no, we can do this three or four more times. <laughs> I mean, let's... It'd be great if we didn't, but yes. we could. But we could probably afford to downgrade, like... A few star bases. That's uh, that's one of my favorite jokes in Rick and Morty. You know the episode where um, spoilers for season one of Rick and Morty, I guess, but um, where they screw up that love potion so badly that Science it destroys the entire Earth. The new breakthrough. Tile blocker. Oh yeah, yeah. And then by the end of it, they just go to a different uh, universe where like they just died seconds before, so they can take their own place and whatnot. Yeah. I love how Rick's like. We, we can't just do this all the time, Morty. We can only do this like six or seven more times. <laughs> I just thought it was. <laughs> I, like, my, my Rick impression used to be so good, but now it sucks. You don't practice it enough. Yeah, it's true. Because, like, Rick and Morty got soured in the wake of that chicken nugget thing. Yeah, the whole Szechuan sauce thing got weird. Yeah. Like, really weird. Apparently, Starbase capacity is something we can research. Oh, really? I didn't see the option pop up, but I'll look into that if it pops up again. Um, like, what star bases do we have here? We got a lot of anchorages. I think we're fine on fleet capacity. Yeah, we could probably downgrade some of those. We got a shipyard here, which we do need. We got something doing nothing, but we should probably turn it into a fortress because it's right on the border. Okay, this is. I don't know. We could get rid of an anchorage. What do you think? I think we can, I think we can, uh, But then everyone that. always yells at me for not having enough fleets, so. Well, they're more mad at you for splitting the fleets. They're mad at me for lots of things. Okay, I found one I can downgrade out of a bunch. I'll also downgrade this one. Uh, this to me looks like a mess, so we'll get rid of that one. The black hole. And there's an elegate there, so we'll probably keep that one. Yeah, I think keep that one. Uh, I don't know. We're still making money now, so I think I'm going to call it there and then come back if we're still way over the limit. Okay. Push it to the limit. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> Pass the point no, of man. economic penalties. <laughs> hey, Larry. Mm -hmm. How many of your laughs are fake? Very few. Really? Contact. Are yeah. you just saying that because we're live? No. Wait, Some very of them few. are more full than others, but they're all real. Ground forces are <laughs> dropping on target. I, I think I'm more confused now. Also, there's a big battle happening, so I want to watch this. Ooh. Let's watch the late show. Yeah, I was actually late getting there, but it is... It's all our vassals, actually, versus the bull hive. So our vassals are actually doing something oh. for us. 
Nice. And it lasts all of two seconds. Good job, five guys. Five frames per second. So, or five oh. frames per whatever. Um, well, that's because you're going the fastest. Yeah, that's my bad. But the point is something cool happened there. Well, that's good. Yeah, now we can invade the Volhive even more. Yeah, we're just gonna swallow them up. So, I mean, things could be going worse, complete. right? Absolutely. You sounded like you expected to. No. Okay, <laughs> no. So I'm like, things could be going worse, and you're like, oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and I, I, <laughs> I'm saying they absolutely could be going worse, and we're actually doing pretty okay. Okay, okay. I'll keep it all on you, though. All right. Oh, okay, god So damn. apparently the next only have one planet left? Nah, I mean, they got one planet left in our kind of system, or in our territory, oh, but they got a bunch of crap over here still. Same with the Vol like right, but but they're almost done. They're almost done. Look oh, at yeah. that. Let's just say the next are next to... to um... <laughs> and how much processing power uh... did that require? <laughs> Should I take a comedy class? Hey, let's make that a poll. <laughs> right, do you really want to do that? Well, I think me saying that as a joke proves I don't need a comedy class, so I don't know. Right. Okay. Well, I okay. do want to get a, a poll going, though, because that system is super cool. Yeah, I've been, like, itching to do a poll, but there hasn't really been anything that needs one. Yeah, I blame society. Right. It's society's Everyone fault. Actual yes. All ground objectives secured. Oh! The next network has surrendered. Ha! Hey. The year is 2590. The next network is dead. Suck it, robots! Terra not toasters! We're back down to four wars again, everybody. Ah. Uh, okay, so... We're just gonna keep pushing forward, I guess. And thanks to Mab010, who subscribed with a sub. Enjoy the icon and being able Ooh. to use emotes. Thank you for joining. All right, so uh, I guess I'm just going to continue invading, because that's... It, I mean, that's... All I know. You may as well. The war has changed Construction me. complete. I've become grizzled. Terra and... not toaster. We've had um, some, some good phrases on the stream. We got Terra Not Toasters, Loose Lips Build Ships, which everyone agreed was great. Um, uh -huh. Other ones, I'm sure. Yeah, Upgrade also any joke involving the Mist Man. Oh, the Mist Man. He's still out there. Soon, we must be able to find him soon. When is the Mist Man miniseries going to happen? I don't know, Mark. When is the Mist Man miniseries going to happen? Oh, shit. That is on me, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I got bad news. Oh? I got a lot of bad news. Oh? Um, we have the, we had the ambition, a grand fleet enabled, which reduced, uh, oh. or it, it improved our naval capacity and reduced our ship upkeep by quite a bit. Now it's expired. We can't redo it because we don't have enough stuff. Um, so we're losing a thousand minerals a month. Oh my god. So... Oops. I'm just gonna hold out until we can redo that. That's, uh, ouch. I didn't realize it was doing that much for us. So this is kind of your fault, because you are in charge of the economy. How am I in charge of the economy? The fact you didn't know you were in charge of the economy makes it even more your fault, so you're just digging yourself deeper. Uh, right. Uh, okay, well... Oh, boy. So... How can we turn this around without turning on that ambition again? I'm waiting for you to tell me. You're in charge of the economy. Well, let's... Seriously cut down on our star bases, because somehow we went up again. Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess we're capturing more? Okay, yeah. you know what? Let's win the war, and then we'll deal with the economy. How about that? 
But we got four. We got. And we can't. Oh, yeah. We can't win a war with a shitty economy. Well, we. Oh wait, there's a big battle happening. Did I miss that? Oh, it's. I mean, it's pretty big. We'll watch this. Yeah. We can always watch a battle. Yeah, there's been so many battles. I just. I don't want to waste a bunch of time just looking at them. But this one is pretty even. So, in fact, it's a bit more even than I'd than I'd like. Maybe too even. Uh, but I think we're gonna uh, win. Oh, we'll, we'll win. We'll win. We always win. I like your confidence. I do have a lot of confidence. Some even say too much. Yeah, I think that's accurate. <laughs> Augustus1126 says, who the heck are we fighting? Who four people fighting? now. I mean, we were fighting five, but now we're down to four. Actually, question. This oh, maybe the, answer? This is the Tenga hierarchy. Were we at war with them? Uh, aren't they part of the Bright League? When the fuck did this happen? Larissa, we I got don't... more bad news. Oh my god. So we're at war with a fifth person? Oh, god damn it. I guess the Vol Hive joined the Stellar Axis. So now we're at war with oh, the Florian Matriarchy, shit. the Rogathra Ra Imperial Domain, the Algorithm, and the Tenga Hierarchy. Oh, shit. We're literally at war with, like, half the galaxy. Can we see the the opinion map? I've brought it up. Or the opinion map? The opinion or, map isn't whatever, the... much better. Uh, <laughs> the diplomatic map is a bit better. Oh, boy. So, half the galaxy hates us. Literally. Uh, we could win every battle and then still lose. Because if they just keep wearing us down like this... Uh, uh, how did they even get here? That's what I, we gotta figure this out, because this is bad news. Okay, so... Yeah. The Tenga, the, isn't there a gateway? They, there must be, but I guess the Tenga got here through the... But there's they an must have gotten there too. through the Pux. Yeah, there's a wormhole there. There's... The, the pucks might have. They don't. Okay, I don't know. How, it must have been through that wormhole, I guess. I don't know. Ugh. This sucks, man. Um, we have to bring down our star base capacity because otherwise we're not gonna last. But it's it's our ships that are really killing us, I, I guess, right? Or no, maybe it's the star bases well, too. No. Okay. It's just, it's got to be the star bases because that's the only one that is you know over capacity. Ah, uh, except like our star bases are really well kind of we're, we're being pretty efficient with them I, I don't think there's a ton of, we could get rid of anchorages but then maybe that breaks our fleet upkeep you know um I mean I think we can afford it right now I'm gonna see if there's any star bases that we've captured or something that maybe we can just because we gotta get rid of nine yeah I think they're all too important right now. I don't think they are, man. Like, they're hurting us more than they're helping. But if, if we get rid of nine anchorages, we're probably going to be under but our They don't capacity. have to be all anchorages, though. We could get rid of at least one sh shipyard. Uh, but the shipyards are keeping us keeping us alive, because we got to get the ships cause to resupply our other ships, and because we're taking losses. Yeah, that's why I... Okay, I got a pull for you. Oh. Should we start dismantling star bases? Yes or no? I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone and I know the answer to this one, but I'll make. No, because I'm gonna make my argument. If we can just last long enough, right now we're losing 300 energy uh, a month and 700 minerals a month. If we got, um, we don't got a ton, but we got a plenty of minerals and a few thousand energy in our commissariats that we can drain to keep the war going. So the hope is that by the time we retake all this area, we'll have either enough planets or whatever to get that starbase limit back up, or we can then start dismantling starbases once. Okay, everyone's voting yes. Everyone's voting yes in the <laughs> middle of my goddamn argument. God, can you let me finish maybe? Ah, fine. <laughs> we can rebuild them later. Okay. Okay. 
I was I was really trying to get my point across, and I just look over, <laughs> and I see the yes is at 90%. I have swayed nobody. I am so There's sad. There's not nobody. 13%. Well, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, no, nobody. Sorry, folks who voted for me now that I'm insulting you. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. First, I'll downgrade the one in Sila, because it's protecting us against an enemy who we probably don't have to face for a while. Then I'll get... We, oh, I'd really like to keep that shipyard, though, because that's important. Um... I mean, how how far downgrading does it go when you click a downgrade? It's just completely, completely gone. I'm going to oh. get rid of one in the uh, Elgate cluster that was being prepared for something. I can't remember what for. Yeah, that's probably fine then. Uh, we can get rid of the station in the... Oh, no, but this one was in an Elgate. That was really helpful. Uh, okay, fuck it. We'll get rid of the one in the black hole. Let's keep Geronimo just in case. Some fleet depots over here. Do you think there's any other candidates that we can get rid of? Uh, we could get rid of Verdun. Ooh, which, decommission Verdun? Yeah, do we want to get rid of Verdun? Is that how far we're willing I to take this? I think it's going to be turned into a museum. But Verdun is like the symbol of Terran resilience from, since like the which earliest is, days. Are you willing to... Which is why it should be a museum. I want EMH another... says Verdun is Verdun. I, I want another poll, and it's, uh, do we decommission Verdun? And the first option has to say, it belongs in a museum. And the second option <laughs> is, I don't know, no time for love, Dr. Jones? I got nothing, but just come up with something. <laughs> I think, dude, I th we just got to decommission it, man. No, I want the poll. I'm not doing this without the consent of the people, because I would, I hate this. Okay. I hate this. Okay. And I guess I'll get rid of Iberia. Okay, let's see what that... Okay, we're, we're making money again on energy, but w that made almost no difference in minerals, so... I think I gotta end it there. Until we find out whether or not we're gonna keep her done. Yes. Also, I, I lost it in chat, but someone said, lose the station to keep the nation, which was a, a sweet uh, yeah. uh, catchphrase. That's like a good little slogan to garner support. Yeah. So one is to decommission Verdun, two is to keep it. Oh, come on. Come on. We can't decommission Verdun. Oh, I'm going to lose this one too, aren't I? Yeah, I think you are, man. I really love this poll system. This looks sweet. It does look so good. You did good work, Mark. Yeah. But I think it's safe to say that uh, it's time for, for Dunn to, uh, to retire. We'll throw a huge party, uh, though. Okay. Okay, I'm clicking the button. All right. And actually, can you give me just a minute here? Can you throw the party? I got to do something real quick. All right. So, everyone, please press F to pay your respects for the history and the triumph that was Verdun. <laughs> remember how the rest of the song goes you can fill it in with your head all right i'm back so thanks for that <laughs> you're welcome uh, okay <clears throat> i clicked the button i hated it i blame chat <laughs> did we record the the date for that i hope someone did because that's that's a moment that will live in infamy <laughs> Are you, are you checking? It's getting awfully I am checking. Okay, I was just nervous. Whenever uh, it's too silent, I just I figure you're updating your resume, looking for a different place to stream. Please. Uh. 
Uh, we didn't get the exact date when Verdun was transformed into a museum, but That's we got fine. something close enough, so it's fine. Close enough's good. Ground forces are dropping on target. And we're taking back more planets, so, like, I don't know, this could be going worse. I keep saying that, but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it could be going worse, but it's not great, you know? Yeah. Should we, um, maybe integrate the uh, Commonwealth of Caprici, just because they're completely useless? And they're dead anyway? Uh, bleh. no, I don't think it's worth it. Just let them die. We actually That's can't dark. get to at the same time, so... Okay. Well, guess that's the end of them. <laughs> and that's the end of that chapter. Sword One Actual reports all ground objectives well, secured. I mean, the, the war is not mm -hmm. going. Is yeah. there anyone that we can settle status quo with? In a bit, we'll be able to do it with those Fallen Empire guys but not for a while. Hmm. All right. Occult Adam suggests that we decommission the station in the Fegger system. So just How do you north spell of that? the Volhive. Oh, north of the Volhive. Uh... Oh, yeah. What's that doing? That's an anchorage. Uh, okay. Okay. I think we can afford to bring it down. Still, I mean, it's... It doesn't seem like stations really affect mineral upkeep that much, and that's our main problem right now, so. Uh, do we care mm -hmm. who uh, becomes the next High Marshal? Keep in mind, we're not uh, making a ton of political points, so we might not want to intervene at all. Yeah, I don't think we can afford it, because we got to hold on to that stuff yeah. for, like, claims and things. I agree. Although, at some point, we should do a, uh, a poll with more than two options, because that'll be... Yeah. Wait, what the fuck was this? Her trait is what the fuck was what? Xenophile or something? Is that is that what I saw? Did anyone else see that? Is she a xenophile uh, person? I fertility preacher. Okay, that's weird, but uh okay, I I thought it said that she likes xenophiles, but uh I, that, hmm, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. But nothing Zeno I can really do. Oh. Yeah, her agenda is Xeno Outreach, so god damn it. Uh. But, I mean, the rest of the marshals aren't gonna, you know, let her run amok, you know? Yeah, there's, there's, um, what do you call it? Counterbalances to... The executive yeah. department. Yeah. So it's going to be really tough. I feel like this is going to be a status quo period. Yes, while she's I so. We let a crazy yeah. person into office. <laughs> Why is the unit of Demiria taking all this territory? This makes no sense. Hmm. Well, I'm kind of okay with them taking it right now. Because, I mean, then it's just less shit for us to worry about. I guess, but I want this back sometime. And apparently we're actually kind of losing the Volt War. Ground objective secured. What? No, okay, never mind. They're at 18 to us, our 10. So we're, we're kind of doing okay, but... Uh. Yeah. <sighs> uh, can you do me a favor and hover over the minerals tab? I would never do that. Never. What, do me a favor? Yes. Uh, all right. Here's, here's the um, problem. Ship upkeep is what's killing us. Oh. Maybe we have enough points to get that thing enabled again, though. Maybe. Nope, we don't. We need... We're lacking 67,000. Okay, yeah, it's going to be a while. So 67 more Ooh. months. Ouch. Okay, there's got to be something else we can do. There's got to be a better way. <laughs> exactly. I mean, we could decommission a fleet. I know everyone hates that, but they also want to keep the economy going. So what am I supposed to do here, folks? Well, someone did suggest it. Mm. We got fleets heading to Germania for some reason. 
Why is that? I don't know. Uh, kind of strange. Let's get them to the L gate, I guess. I must have accidentally moved hmm. them or something. I'll get rid of these, like, lone destroyers and stuff. Yeah, these single weird ones that obviously didn't make it into a proper... Yeah, they were, weren't paying attention. Yeah, I don't I don't think we should decommission any big fleets. Yeah, but then how, how are we supposed to pay for it, Larry? How are we supposed to pay for it? Well, somebody did rightfully point out that we do have quite a few mineral reserves. Yes, I mean, that might have been me, because I was saying that during my argument that you started the pull in the middle of, so... Mm, yeah. But... I just wanted on the record that I was robbed. <laughs> All right. You don't sound convinced. I don't. Oh. Well, shit. Whatever. We're killing a lot of robots today. Yeah, it feels good, right? I feel kind of, sort of bad, but not that much. Kind of, sort of bad? Why? I don't know, just because... I don't know. Maybe I don't. All right. You got me. <laughs> happening here. Why is, these people should bombard planets automatically. I hate having to do it myself. It's very frustrating. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got some sort of battle happening here that we're gonna lose. What? So, I'll save us. Um, where is the nearest fleet? How are we gonna lose? They, they got behind us somehow with the... It's not that small. I mean, it's not that big a fleet, but it's bigger than anything we got there at the moment. So these two ships are going to sacrifice themselves so the army can escape. Construction How very complete. noble. And we'll get these guys back. Or maybe we could just jump. Although, aren't they... What does that do? It, weapon speed is... Ah, let's gamble. I like gambling. Is this a bad idea? <laughs> I, I don't... I... We'll find out. This might be a bad idea. I might have cost us a fleet. Lost. But it's the, it's the heroic thing to do. If they ever show up. Yeah, here they come. Go get them, boys. After them. Oh, and we got tons of reinforcements coming in, so maybe this will be okay. Yeah, because this is the fleet that really got beat up earlier. Oh, poor guys. Yeah. They had a rough go of things. Oh, they retreated like cowards. All right, excellent. Uh -huh. But this is going to show that we just we can't keep this up for <laughs> too much longer if they're just going to continually send all these fleets mm -hmm. after us. Yeah, where are they coming from? Um, in that instance, I don't know. I, it must be this wormhole that the, um, the Suthvale have, or no, the Xana have. Mm-hmm. If we can, if we, yeah, if we can wipe out the Vol and take this whole area here, then they can only get us through the L-Gate. So we'll just station stuff at sticks, and then they'll be fine. Unless something bad happens, which it might. Yeah. It very well could. Yes. I mean, there have been plenty of bad things that just kind of happened to us. The good news is, once we've cleared this area out, we can strike anywhere we want. Like, we could take back the Nymeria, or the Caprizi, um, whatever. So, you know, something to think about. Mm-hmm. Thinking, indeed. And where'd the army go? Didn't we have an army over here somewhere? Construction oh, complete. Oh, God, who can keep track, right? Well, hopefully you, but... Oh, yeah. I guess I should be doing that. Yeah. We're good. Excellent. Okay, and this stuff is looking a bit better too. So, in short, the Greater Terran Unit is a land of contrast. 
The Greater Terran Union bad? has no contrast because it is only one thing, which is awesome. Okay. I'm, it, in that it inspires awe, you know? Ah, uh, I see. I feel like we're in Vietnam. Like the war, I guess. You know, it's just like stamping out uprisings all over the place and really trying to push into this territory. It's kind of become a slog. Yeah, just banging our heads against the wall, kind of. There might a lot be of people dying. Ivan himself says, I love the Template Institute! Ah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I always assume people are being sarcastic when they say stuff like that. Well, that's, uh, that's, that's you. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> I've told this thing to, okay, I guess it's slowly being repaired. Okay, that's not their fault. Fine. No. Huh. Yeah. How many planets do we own? Uh, is there an easy way to tell? Well, wouldn't the outliner say that? Or is that just in... Uh, maybe... Well, planets that only cover the core sectors. Yeah, only do the core. Um, I mean, I could count, but that's going to take a while. Yeah, On the diplomatic screen, it shows it for other nations. I don't know how to see it for your own. Hmm. Look at contacts, apparently. Oh, yeah, that would do it. That's a... Wait, would that do it? Uh, no, it wouldn't. Wait, yes, it would. We have 60. All right. Jesus. 60 planets. That has to be up there, right? We're probably uh up there. You huh. got it, right? Are we at war with the Southvale Confederacy? We are, and they're equivalent to us, which I'm not a huge fan Ooh. of. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that at all. Plus, it's, yeah, we're, it's part of the Bright League. Ah, uh, fucking Bright League. Okay, we're at war with the... <sighs> The Bright League and the... What's the other one? The Stellar Axis? Yeah, Jesus. It's too many. If the Star Compact joins into this, like, we are we are fucked big time. So we can't upset oh, the Star yeah. Compact. No, we really can't. Ugh. Colt Autumn wants to know how close we are to a domination victory. I, I don't know. Isn't it 70% of the galaxy you have to take? I don't know. I've never gotten to victory condition. Uh, yeah, I, I think I've only done it a few times, and I, I'm not sure if they were the uh, domination one. It's 40%. 40%. That seems really low. You know what? We might not be that far off. Um, is there a way to tell? Well, isn't there a, uh, in the situation log? Oh, how do you know that? But I don't. Uh, cause I was actually, like, really curious right at the beginning when I started playing. Oh, wait. And some of this I remember, and some of it- We are halfway there. Oh my god. Oh god. 40% of all habitable planets. I- yeah. 127 planets owned out of how many? 250 something. Wow. I mean, we're getting there, right? Kinda. Maybe. Yeah, we're probably closer than anybody else in the galaxy. That, I think, is accurate. Huh. End of Man says, Imagine if the Star Compact and the Peronisti Union declare war on you and the Endgame Crisis spawns in the middle of your territory all at once. That would be I think cool. that's the only way we could die. You that know? would be a cool is way to have like... an end. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it would... Surrounded on all sides with a threat in the middle. I think that would just destroy uh, everyone who's been following the series if that's how it ended. <laughs> but we're taking back. I more mean, planets. it would be it would be poetic, you know. Yeah, destroyed by their own hubris, kind of thing. Yeah. All sword and Blazing Wolf nineteen forty one would like to know how many admirals we have. We have. Um, just one at the moment, but we're all out of leaders. Let's get two, because I'd rather have an admiral than a general at the moment.
Can we can we get a wasari? No, not for an admiral. Ah, oh, come on, man. Sorry. Also, I'm so sick of the Commonwealth of Caprizi taking all these planets that we conquer. Like we're doing all the work here, buddies. Yeah, but they're also like their home place is gonna die. So. Yeah, I guess we can. And they do that. seem to be doing some work, so they're not useless. Fine, fine. And it's also not like we need the territory, you know? It just it's destroying my beautiful borders. Yes. That is inconvenient. Building more mining. But the states. angry vegan says everybody needs a buffer state. <laughs> That's true. I'd just rather have pretty looking. God damn it, oh, I'm saying it. You always call everything pretty, and now... Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> ah, yes, I have converted you. We need badass-looking borders. There, I saved it. We're fine. Oh, yeah. very masculine. I feel pretty, all so pretty. Now, can you go back and say that you're the king of the fairies? Nope, because you have not won a bet uh. recently, so I will not be saying that. All right, fine. <sighs> But I will just go through the vole and destroy all their fleets, because I'm tired of these assholes. Yeah, frack them. Language. I'm sorry, fuck them. There we go. Speaking of that, taking another system over here. And they have no army, so that's a bit of a bonus. Has this entire stream just been war? War never changes. Yeah. It really has. Oh my god. Construction complete. Yeah, you know what? Actually, having these vassals isn't a bad thing because they're taking most of the focus secured. from of the vole. Like the vole isn't really attacking us. That's true. Also, the dark confluence has been yeah. destroyed. Nice. So the robot rebellion is finally over. The year is twenty five ninety two. Although, I think it's obvious at this point that the robot uprising was orchestrated by either the Bright League or the Stellar Axis as a way of weakening us before their main attack. I think that is the only logical answer here, because we had one robot pop. There's no way that they could have generated that many robots yeah. in such a short time. I think they smuggled them it into was... the vassals. Yeah, I think it was seven. Also, you know, I was just thinking... If you really wanted to, to punish me for that bet, you should have had it so I had to introduce myself as the King of the Fairies on every stream for, like, two weeks. Yeah, but I only wanted to humiliate you once, you know? That I don't is need not to true. I don't that. believe that. <laughs> There's nothing I know about you. It's that the humiliation must be constant. <laughs> not constant. Just, you know, steady. Just never ending. Oh, ooh, boy. Okay. Uh, we got uh, the Commonwealth of Xana, a member of the Bright League, is attacking this black hole that we recently just took. Uh, We're probably going to lose some transport ships. Yep. Fuck. Damn it. A fleet power of 60k versus our nearest one is 38k and... Right. Okay. Yeah, we got to group these guys together and counterattack. God damn it. Those assholes. Yeah. Putting a kink in all our plans. How dare they. Speaking of stuff, is this planet almost dead yet? Ah, okay, fuck it. Let's see if we can take it. We can take it! We can take it! Are we invading? I can't tell. Construction complete. Alright, hopefully that worked out fine. Uh, and now they left the black hole. Where Ground did they go? Forces are dropping on target. I, Tracking I don't know. Enemy fleet. Oh, there they are. They're attacking the Korra system. Um, well, this station's not going to last forever, but maybe we can... Oh, we can reinforce it. This will be good. We're going to hold them at Korath, hopefully. Construction complete. Okay, Korath is our... It's our line in the sand. Yes. If we can just get this fleet in here before it's destroyed, that should help us out a lot. Come on. Reinforcements. Get here already. Yep, there they are. Excellent. Might have to do full screen for this one. Battle of Corinth. 
Although we're taking some losses. The so, yeah. Corinthian battle. Oh, they just did something, and I don't know. The point is, I think we're doing okay. Yeah, we'll probably we'll be fine. We'll be fine. EMH says the rare moment where a reinforcement fleet arrives on time. Yeah, I'm gonna delete some uh, some saves here so I can. Uh... <laughs> God, there's a lot of saves. A lot's been happening. Yeah, too much. The stream's too exciting, everybody. Yep. You just too much for our poor little brains. Speak for yourself. It hasn't even begun to mess with my poor little brain. Ah. Uh. All right. Let's resume, shall we? <laughs> resume. Got a cool angle here, I think. Ooh. Ooh, okay. A lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm bringing back the numbers, so I want to see what's happening. I, yeah, we're, we're going to be just fine. They don't stand a chance. Yeah, let's speed things up here a bit. Uh, but I mean, like, the third expeditionary is down to 30k from 50. Like, we're, we're taking such losses on, on our fleets here that we just can't keep this up and with the economy the way it is we got 17 months before we're out of minerals I'm Only concerned 17 months oh boy very concerned yeah bring back the hood oh right right sorry on the plus side look at our vassals man they got three giant fleets that are just hanging out doing stuff so well, they should be be, be better. Be best. I mean, they've taken all this territory, so it's not. It's. I. Th I think we're gonna be fine. Like, it'd be nice to be able to take down the Volhive completely soon. Yeah. Oh, we we could drain a sector. Yeah, I mean that's gonna be the next step. Um, no. But we don't have the. Why can't we do that? Now we can do that. Okay. Gonna get a ton of minerals. Um, yeah, but like Rick says, we can only do this, like, twice more. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is, uh... Huh. Yeah, we better, we better start ending some wars here, I think. Yeah, I mean, at least we're down a three. Yeah, right? We need to explore this yeah. wormhole, too. Do we have any science ships that are even manned anymore? There's gotta be. No. <laughs> well, we'll send one over there. What? Because I would like to know where that black hole, or that uh, wormhole is connected to. Ground objectives yeah, because we could use it. Yeah, and we'll need to fortify that system, too, because, I mean... Oh, wait, what's happening here now? Uh, another big battle, but we're going to win, so it's fine. I like winning. Oh, and it's Ground over already. Wait, no, it's not. Ah, I can't tell what's happening. I'm going to be back ahead. Construction complete. Ah, okay, another battle won, finally. Yay! Uh, apparently we have a colony ship just sitting around. Do we? Yeah, in the soul system. That is that is... the one that's supposed to go to the ring world? Yeah, I wonder if it ever made it there. I guess it didn't, so I'll send it there. That's weird. Very weird. We've also terraformed two worlds, so we'll get those colonized too. Nice. Just from random planets, because I don't want to have to do this efficiently at the moment. Okay. So do we do we know if like anybody in the Bright League or anything has actually developed any equivalent weapons to the Sword of Terra? Um, I, is there a way to check? Because every now and then it says like you can now use the, the Colossus thing, 
but I, I don't know if it's because... I, I don't know what that's about, so... Hopefully someone can inform me. Because I feel like we should be able to, I don't know, like, check war uh, goals or something. Because sometimes they research it, but then don't build it, so who knows, right? Yeah. Construction complete. Alright, taking more systems over here, so that's good. Our planet capacity is... Or our number of planets is getting closer to the capacity. Yeah, we'll need a new... Uh, no, that's the unit of Nemirium. Okay, we'll need maybe new sectors or something. I'm not sure what's going on. This whole thing's a giant mess, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, we can f clean it up later. Yeah. God damn it, the Rixian Galactic Director is still a bunch of assholes. But you know who's not an uh, asshole? Black Wolf Willy. Black Wolf Willy? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks for subscribing. Helps us out. Plus, you get that cool icon. And it changes color based on how long you've been subscribed for. So... That's something. Yeah. In one That's month, we got a to couple see, of uh, orange yeah. logos. Yeah, a couple of orange logos in here. And in one month, we'll have the first red logos for those of you who have been here a year. Mm. And subscribe the entire time like a crazy person. Yeah, like crazy. I don't know. Hopefully, it's worth it. We've like, man, we've streamed a ton. We really have. It bottles the mind. It bottles it. Yeah, it's from community. <laughs> You know, where your mind is put in, like, a bottle? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, Blazing, Blazing Wolf asks, when was the bonus stream? That was yesterday. It was. Mostly just renamed stuff, so you, you didn't miss much. Unless you really like renaming stuff. In which case, you missed a ton. Which, you know, yeah, you, you could be really into that. It was a good time, though. I enjoyed it. Doing yeah, I did, too. Ground objective secured. I'm using this uh, jump drive a lot now. I hope people are happy. Yeah, it seems to be pretty efficient. I'm liking it. And uh, Basir Azam says, what about the production targets edict? I um, think the problem is that we don't actually have enough unity or influence. That's the other one. I think production targets is on right now. Yeah, the stuff that takes political points is all on. The stuff that takes unity, we're still way behind on. We need 38,000 more things. Yeah. So don't hold your breath, folks. Yeah, once those turn off, that's going to hurt. Yeah. And we're not, even, we're not even getting that much influence anymore. Because we're trying to integrate those guys. God damn it. Yeah, so, you know, it's uh, times are tough. We're losing colonies to those goddamn vassals. People laughed at us for wanting to conserve water all the time, but who's laughing now? That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's more important than ever. See, yeah. this is where discipline gets you. Normally people would be like, eh, why is our calorie intake being reduced? But they've been doing that the entire time, so it's no big deal. Yeah, everyone's just used to it. Except for the mist man and his, like, the the ball of mist renegades. man. Ugh. I hate him. They spit. On the Greater Terran Union. Literally. For what is wasted Literally. water if not spit. <laughs> that makes sense, right? Okay. Yeah, totally. Okay, good, good. Ugh, the Miss Man. Ugh, he makes me sick. That's one of my favorite things we've come up with so far in this whole, whole thing. Yep. Any, anytime we're mad, we'll just... Tuh. Mist man. Damn, mist man. Although, if we're spitting, are, aren't we wasting water too? Uh, well. Are you the mist man, Larry? No. That's just what <laughs> Uncle Totem says, were. what if the mist man is actually Ted's evil twin brother? Oh, shit. Oh, uh, my God. Also, I'm seeing some questions. Who is the mist man? Uh, do you want to? Who is? Should the I take Mist this one? Man. I That's the question that everybody asks. No one yeah, knows who the Mist Man is, but as you might know, within the Greater Terran Union, rationing water, amongst other things, is critical, and the Water Crimes Division is in charge of making sure that no one's like having unauthorized showers or wasting water, etc., etc. But 
there's a serial water waster out there who the media has dubbed the Mist Man, who thinks he's above the law, and he's been sending wet sponges to the police, as well as like threatening and taunting notes and stuff. And no one knows who he is. He's out there somewhere. It's scary stuff. It's everyone is every good citizen of the GTU is on the lookout for the Mist Man. Yeah. He is our greatest criminal. Exactly, yes. Some speculation that it might be Ted's brother, which I refuse to believe that anyone associated with Ted could could be the Mist Man. That's, no, that's insulting. But it would be incredibly scandalous, wouldn't it? It might tear the GTU apart, if we're being honest. <laughs> but Zero Zam says wet sponges? Yeah, the ultimate in water wasted. Yeah. Because then it just dries. Sending a wet sponge in a box to the water crimes division? That's like sending a severed head. Yeah. But a million times worse. Construction complete. Pudlor Tannen says, and seemingly he's been alive for like 80 plus years at least. Is he immortal? We don't know. Well, I mean, we've gotten to be, you know, like some of our leaders are like 120, so. Also, the time frame of the, of the commercials has never really been established for obvious <laughs> reasons. The Mist Man is an idea. And ideas All can are be the proof. <laughs> <laughs> Construction complete. All right, we're making slow but steady progress, I want to say. You know what? That's honestly the most sustainable kind of progress. Really? Thanks not for yeah. not lying. You're, you're welcome. Yeah. <sighs> my uh, my dad used to tell me like you should never say like in all honesty or if I'm being honest or to Ground be frank because it target. leaves the implication that maybe you're not being honest other times. <laughs> but he was okay. a stickler for rules that one, so I don't know. Boof68 says, Mist Man is secretly Mark. I wouldn't be surprised. You would not last a day in the Greater no, Terran Union. A lot of the stuff in that commercial was based on stuff I do. So <laughs> I'd be executed for water crimes pretty much immediately. Yep. The only way do we I have gotta... capital so... punishment? Yes, yeah. Ooh. When was that introduced? That Because that couldn't have been introduced when we were you know, underpopulated. I think, well, depends. Like if we're talking about when the one child policy, no, I think it was probably always going. Cause like sustaining criminals in prison is a waste of resources. So you don't want to do it for like murderers and the worst of the worst. No, I don't, I don't necessarily believe that it is a waste of resources because for so long, uh, prisoners have been used as cheap labor. That's true. So why would we, why would we get rid of that resource? And you could also make an argument that if someone's in jail for, like, a minor crime, you don't want to, like, eliminate their talents for too long or, like, you want to rehabilitate because yeah. that's, like, the best way to do exactly. it. Exactly. Rehabilitation I mean, like, uh, is just as valuable. For the worst of the worst of the worst, I think there is capital punishment. And I think it's been around forever. Hmm. I mean, it probably started right after the invasion, right? Because if you're trying to cut down the surplus population to manageable levels, you're not going to keep a bunch of folks in prison. So maybe they were worked to death. Maybe in the early days it was really rough. So. I I do think they would try to squeeze as much uh, value out of each prisoner as they possibly could and probably weren't investing that much resources in them. Yeah. Definitely at the beginning. But it's not spending I mean, much so much make sure of, they're still alive. Yeah, I mean, so much of the GTU is the, kind of that egalitarian ideal of, like, everyone has value. But then that if you must don't, be exploited. then you kind of... Yeah, it's like a weird mix of egalitarianism and, like, not... Cynicism. Utilitarianism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, ah, that's good. That is what it is. Yeah. Construction complete. All right. Also, the bull hive's on the way out. Nice. So I'm very pleased about this. They've been a thorn in our side for too long. I wholeheartedly agree. Sword one actual reports all ground objectives secured. <laughs> Okay, so we're invading that one planet. In fact, man, we might be able to eliminate the Volhive completely very soon. Ooh. Well, I mean, we've kind of set this precedent. Which uh, which precedent? 
uh, annihilating an entire Ground race. Oh yeah, we're, we're kind of big on that. <laughs> yeah. I'm loving the jump drives. Yeah, don't they just make everything go so much faster? It's great. And certainly nothing bad can ever happen related to these things, so. <laughs> we might lose this this battle. I don't... Uh... Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. It's They're doing 4 to 8 damage, and we're doing 2 to 5. Jesus, what's wrong with our soldiers? All right, I'm going to bombard this planet more. Yeah, I think that's a wise idea. And we'll move on to this system. Gran Gragra's dwelling. Okay. Whatever the hell that is. Some guy named Gran Gragra. These Xeno names make me sick, Larry. They make me sick. They really do. They really do. They're just awful. Do you have any armies just hanging around somewhere? I feel like we must, but I, uh... We've got it. You recruited so many armies. But a lot of good people have died in this whole campaign. That's true. Oh, okay, yeah. What do yeah. you think the families of serving members get when they... When they're, uh... You know, when the soldier has passed? Two extra showers. It's not great. <laughs> That's it? Yep. Okay, I figured out, well, I didn't figure it out. Someone told me um, why we're having issues with our, our um, fleet stuck. Apparently, when traveling through gateways that take you through the territory of other species or other empires that have closed borders, um, it can fuck everything up. So, I uh... might, it's, it's why our, our thing isn't being colonized and all our colony ships are stuck. So, I got to do it, like, manually or something. So, but I'll worry about that later because there's a war going on. Yeah, we'll worry later. Yeah. Captain Jack Reyes 1 says, Can we please blow up that last full hive planet, please? Sorry, we're bound to the law here. Yeah, they don't actually have an equivalent weapon. They just researched it. I mean, Which is I really like not it, fair. But... Yeah. I mean, but we if we anything. break this rule, then we prove the Xenos who hate us right, that we are just warmongers, and that's not true. That's a good way to think of it. I approve. Yeah. Yeah. It can't be true. And Yazan Moed would like to know what the progress is on the ring world. Let's see, shall we? Yes. Uh, the second section has a thousand days left. Nice. And how goes the colonization? Uh, it's not happening because of those, um, that... <laughs> Oh. Although I kind of want to colonize right. it all at the same time when it's like completely ready in like a grand ceremony. I don't think that makes sense though. Yeah, you're right. What because I want what apparently we... doesn't make sense, so. <laughs> well, like, think of it this way like, what happens if something goes wrong and we actually don't get a chance to colonize it? Then it's just sitting there empty, yeah. waiting for somebody else to take it. It is a huge waste of resources, like phase one of a mall. Have you heard yeah. of this uh, mall in Calgary, my hometown? The um, you would have heard uh, of it. You know, you know the one I'm talking about if you've heard of it. Uh, I, I think it's called New Horizons. Even a name? I didn't. I've not heard of it. Okay, so they opened this giant mall on the outskirts of the city. Um, it has like room for a thousand stores, and it's supposed to be like this huge thing. Except whoever built it was an idiot because there's absolutely no demand for a mall in that area of the city. It's just like it's almost <laughs> like outside city limits. It's super weird. And it's also close to, like, a couple other malls that have been up for a while, like Cross Iron Mills and these other places. So, yeah. basically, it's this, um, it's also, like, a strange type of mall, because instead of having, like, a couple anchor stores, it consists, I think, entirely of very small stores. Like, cell phone kiosk-type places you'd see. So, yeah, the entire thing, literally, the entire mall has been empty since it opened, um, last year. And you can go on YouTube and you can see videos of people, like, roller skating <laughs> through the mall. Where it's just completely dead. That's insane. Yeah. So, the economy ain't doing too great, I guess, in Calgary still. So it's a ghost mall. It is a ghost mall. Precisely. Ooh, Ground spooky. forces are dropping on target. Construction complete. 
Okay, well, we got ground forces attacking somebody, so yeah. So we could we could conceivably end the war with the Vol very. Yeah, I mean, we got about 10 minutes left before we need to call the stream here, and I'm really hoping we can end the vol in that time, because that would be a great way to to end the stream here. Yeah. In fact, I might do some risks just to speed things up a bit. Ooh. You're gambling. That's what I do best, baby. <laughs> So we're about to take this planet, and they got no others in the system, so once that's done, we can move on. I think we can do it. I think it can happen. Okay, do it. Do it! Oh, and this planet almost has no army, so I can maybe jump somebody there? All sword Except our allies have taken a couple places, but they haven't taken those planets yet, so... Ah, it'll be close. Would you be okay with going, like, five minutes long? Uh, no, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, I gotta get out of this room pretty soon. Ah, okay. For reasons. I see. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have done that. Uh-oh. These things are un Oh, man, okay. Uh, I'll send the fleet there. It'll be fine. <laughs> Oops. Mistakes are being made. As long as we know that they're mistakes and we're trying to fix them. Yeah. Yeah, shit. Hmm. Just kind of waiting for stuff to happen. Well, do, 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 we, have, do we have anything to talk about while we wait? No, shut up. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Do we? <laughs> I don't know. Are we all out of stuff? <laughs> we can't be out of stuff. One actual reports all I guess that's it. Objectives We've said everything there is to say. Oh, except we Sword took another planet. Thank God. All ground objectives well, okay, secure. let's talk about that then. What kind of planet is it? It's a... Pretty shit. <laughs> wow. But this means I can jump the other fleet there. No, I can't. Because I already did. Okay, it's fine. Is it fine, though? We're so close, Larry. I can taste it. What does it taste like? Like gross kind of spinach with soy sauce. Well, how does that gross? Um, because the soy sauce went bad, and so did the spinach. Oh. That is bad. Also, we're still 9,600 ambition or whatever it's called. Uh, unity away from this ambition. Sorry. Got that one wrong. Okay. Also, you know what? I'm going to change our food policy. To? Uh, growing as fast as possible. Our food... I mean, our food doesn't seem to be... Like, we seem to be doing fine with food. Are you thinking of... Tra yeah, I'm going to lower the amount of um, storage capacity. And that increases how much is... I don't know how it works within the canon or lore of the game, but our pops are going to grow faster, which we desperately need because we have a lot of underpopulated planets since the AI, AI, AI Rebellion. Yeah. And we're making so much food per yeah. month that it really doesn't matter, so this is smart. I'm a genius. All right. But I don't like to brag. It's kind of tacky. <laughs> it is tacky. We've taken another planet, so that's good. Okay, we might actually be able to do this. I'm getting kind of uh, excited here. They've only got four four systems left, right? Yeah. That's nothing. And it's about to be two, I believe. Construction complete. Except uh, so they got two planets in the system like a dick. Uh, uh. Do any of them have armies? I could split up this. Yeah, I'm going to split this up. Do both at once. Both at once. They don't have a whole lot of armies. Ground forces are dropping on target. It's a daring move. I'll grant it that. <laughs> <sighs> All 
All right, how's the ambition looking? I've seen some folks in chat saying we can turn on Grand Fleet again, but we still can't, so nope. Oh, sad. So sad. Yep. Ground forces are dropping on target. Oh well, is what it is. That's true. That is very true. All right, gotta keep this going. Gotta keep it going. Construction complete. Forward! The only direction we know. And also backwards, but only in rare instances. Yes, but then we're still moving forwards. Just in the other direction. Precisely. Genius, in fact. Yes. Yes. Chat would like to know where Grey is. Oh, I converted her to an army and then forgot about her. Oops. Um, I did move her closer a while ago. Uh, where is she? Grey, there you are. Jump to there. She can't. She's just slightly out of range. Or she Aww. can't, because I just told her to... Yeah, Gray's not gonna make it. Why why can't she make it though? She seems Okay, yep, she's getting slightly closer. That's my bad. I should have been bringing her up with the main offensive line and all that. Okay, okay. So Captain Jack Reyes says a question. Your ground forces, are they called marines or something else? Ground uh, naval security. infantry. Our pioneers have made planet fall. That's ground never been established. I'm just tired security. of everything in space being called <laughs> marines. I think the Russian ah. designation is just as cool. Maybe cooler, actually. Mm -hmm. Do you have opinions on naval infantry versus, <laughs> versus marines? I mean, it, I don't know. Because you can really only be infantry on ground, right? Well, this is an official designation. I'm not just pulling this ground out of my ass. Objective secured. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that the official designation makes sense. Oh, you don't make sense. It makes perfect sense. They're, they're infantry stationed within the Navy. Yeah, but even still, they do all of their work on land. Well, sure... But then Marines have the same problem. They don't exclusively work in Marine stuff. I mean, there's Marines in the desert right now fighting in Afghanistan. And... Oh my god. I just... Oh! I just get why they called Marines. Seriously? I've never thought about it before, okay? <laughs> oh. oh! That boy. makes so much sense. Okay, well, you know what? I don't think we're going to end <laughs> this war at the end of the stream. I think that's as good a note as I any to go out so. on. <laughs> Okay, so the game is saved, and yeah, so the streams don't stop, folks. We're going to be back on Wednesday for Wildcard Wednesday, where we're probably continuing our XCOM campaign. Larissa has gotten a bunch of good men killed, so if you want a character named after so you, many. there are openings. Yes, um, go over to our Discord server and uh, go to stream discussions, and you can check the pins, and you'll find a template there where you can submit some character design. Yeah. That I will eventually kill by yes. accident. Well, maybe not. We could, we could <laughs> bet on your success. But uh, on yeah. Friday, we're going to be doing Ace Combat 7. Uh, and are we doing FYAF as well? Or how is that working? Uh, I don't know. We'll, f we'll figure that out. So maybe FYAF, which is The Witcher 3. But for now, for certain, we're doing Ace Combat 7, which I'm super excited about. Please tune in. I'm trying VR for the first time. I had to buy 300 feet worth of cable to get it working. But I think it's going to. So that's going to be cool. And then, of course, back on Saturday for more Stellaris Invicta. Wait, maybe not, because that's when my break starts. I might be on break. I don't know. A lot going on. Check Twitter and Facebook. That's where the <laughs> updates will be. So, Larissa. Yes. Yesterday, yes. we got raided by Mordred Viking here on Twitch. Should we, we raid him back? I think we should. Yeah. Alrighty, so we're going to be raiding Mordred Viking in just a second here. He's a good guy. He plays, um, I think he does some Stellaris, but he also does some Total War Europa Universalis is what he's currently playing. Um, yeah, and he's a, he's a good dude. So, what do we say? What do we say? Uh, well, of course, the requirement is a ton of Templin emotes if you have access to them. So if you're a subscriber, drop a bunch of Templin emotes in there. But how about just the old glory, or no, the GTU Forever? That's a cool thing to say. Yeah, or, or Terra Invicta. I, I'm not a big fan of Terra Invicta. What? Yeah, I don't know. But sure, Terra Invicta or GTU Forever. Both are good. Uh, both are good. So sign up for the raid. 
the uh, sign up sheet is at the top of the Twitch page here, I guess. I don't know how this works. So, yeah, Larissa, you may fire when ready. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. We'll see you next time. See ya.